Hello, uh, Dr. Saunders here again. This is the uh, introduction to Module 2 of uh, American Popular Music, the uh, uh, story of American Popular Music before 1900. Uh, we're going to talk about Tin Pan Alley and Ragtime uh, in this. But the, the most interesting thing, I think, in this module is, uh, well, two things, really. The, one is the idea that uh, American Popular Music is really based on a set of um, uh, practices and styles that today most Americans would find offensive or uncomfortable, and that's minstrelsy, uh, this art form that really uh, uh, mocked and, uh, and lampooned black society uh, during the 19th century, and there are echoes of it all through uh, American popular culture in the 20th century. Uh, so we see the first sound film, for example, uh, is about Al, uh, the life story, basically, of Al Jolson, who was a well-known blackface singer. He actually took black makeup and put it on his face to appear as though he was a black man. Uh, and that's in 1927. The, you know, uh, Warner Brothers is a little embarrassed by the whole thing, actually, uh, because of that fact. Uh, in the 1950s and 1960s, there were still allusions to this and elements of this. And uh, some of the words we used to refer to that era of society, words like Jim Crow. Uh, Jim Crow was a stock character from uh, minstrel performances. So uh, uh, in the, uh, the movie, 1954 movie, White Christmas, that we show, get out and show every Christmas in some families, right? Uh, there's a song called I'd Rather See a Minstrel Show Than Any Other Show I Know. Uh, and so just remember that we live in times now where we're more understanding about people's uh, feelings, more understanding about emotions uh, and, uh, and what things represent. Uh, and it wasn't always that way. Uh, in white culture, racism used to be much more acceptable uh, than it is today. And by, certainly by no means have we solved all our problems uh, with race in the United States, but uh, I, I tend to believe we've, we've made some improvements, uh, at least in terms, uh, even into the 1970s, you know, there was uh, a chain of restaurants called Little Black Sambos, uh, and, and that kind of casual, uh, humorous racism uh, has disappeared in most discourse. We're also going to talk about ragtime, and ragtime is an interesting case study because it's a style that uh, has been born and uh, lived and uh, is more or less a dead style, although there are people who carry it on and people who are interested in it, and we can say that of any style. So we can see its whole life cycle, and ragtime is also the uh, uh, one of the first uh, African-American styles to become uh, a major part of white culture. And so we'll see that process going on as well. Um, so uh, go ahead and read Chapter 2 and get started on uh, Module 2, and we'll see you uh, soon. Have a great day. Bye.